never done before uh, for calico collage and um, that is number one this journal is for sale in the shop um, and number two I'm going to make this book come alive now number three I completely forgot to hit the record button when I started so there's that but um, here's my cover and um, I'm super excited to do this so here's my inside uh, there's this journal card here that comes with uh, the notebook and I marked the day that my shop opened and that it's 2017 through 2018 so I'm kind of going to document my shop um, and me and what I've accomplished so far in this book and I stuck a piece of washi tape on here that says adventure it waits and I splattered everything with um, some Daniel Smith gold watercolor paint and I love the way that came out and then here I printed this and it printed awful but I don't care because you can still see congratulations on your first sale this uh, is part of the kit that I had already stuck down these stickers oh my gosh y'all horrible so they have no glue to them and i had to literally pick up each and every single one with a pair of tweezers and glue it with some matte medium from my fine liner bottle so in here i have some scotch adhesive glue and some fluid matte medium and that works wonderfully in here and the only reason why there's some scotch in here is because there was still some left but i was running out and i needed to use it and I didn't have um, any extra scotch glue with me so I mix some fluid matte medium in here and yeah that's awesome because it flows out a lot better so I stuck that down and then I stuck this little die cut down that says imperfection is lovely because Lord knows I have not been perfect with my shop or with you know growing it I've definitely had some ups and downs then I have uh, this die cut that says, so this is my life and some twine. This doily is part of the book. And, oh, I should talk about this. So this is all Distress Oxide ink. Um, it's this one, Faded Jeans. And I put this all around here and here, even through the stencil, um, through the stencil, through the doily, uh, which worked like a stencil and I'm so happy with those results. And then um, I sprayed water on it and then rolled the paper towel over the water. I'll be doing more of this through this journey of this book and I won't forget to hit the record button again. So I have this doily. I don't know if I'm gonna put anything here yet. And then I did my journaling. This is Tomoe River paper, which you can see, yes, there is some ghosting, but that kind of stuff does not bother me. Um, then the quote optimism is the faith that leads to achievements nothing can be done without hope and confidence this is part of the kit uh that comes with this book and for the first time ever i have to say i love this so i inked it um with one of these uh, i think it was the shimmering I want to say it was the Shimmering Seas. So I bought this and some sample inks from Goulet Pens. Um, I don't know. I think the samples are awesome because it really gives you a chance to try some stuff out. So like this particular ink, for example, yeah, it's shimmery, but it's really too dark of a blue for me to really like. Um, so now I know that I don't like that ink and I won't um, I won't ever purchase it but I put it in my Twisby Echo um, there's not much in here because it's from the sample uh, but on uh, the pen itself writes so beautifully it came in this case and um, and it's not echo it's eco Anyways, it came in this case. I have a little wrench so that I can, um, if I need to clean or grease the piston, this that's what this is. So this is some oil to 
do that, the wrench to take it off. It came in this case. It fits perfectly in here. I got the white one. Um, and then directions. So it, it can live in here, which is kind of cool. So I got that, and I journaled on my Tomoe paper with that fountain pen, and it wrote beautifully. I'm super, super happy with that. Um, I'm probably going to do some more journaling on this back side, but I think that I'm going to add some watercolor to it before I do that. And let me do that right now, just so it's done, because after this, I need to get to work. So I have in here uh, the few Daniel Smith colors that I have. Um, and this is an opera, opera pink, so it's very vibrant pink and I only put a little bit out I didn't put a whole lot but um so yes I'm going to plop some color down on this and get some more water and I wish I was using my other brush because my other brush is a mop brush and it's so lovely anyways I'm saying that because I don't like the way this paints with watercolor I was using this literally for something else and it's on my desk and because I forgot to hit the record button I figured you know let me do this and I'm trying what I'm doing here is getting rid of the harsh lines I don't want harsh harshness to this at all so the way I'm getting rid of that is by dragging the water all over the paper um, and that'll get rid of the harsh lines that I've got going on here and then I'm just going to add some more paint because I do want it to be more vibrant and I like that I have like this vibrant side and then that the pink is not so vibrant on the left side. That makes me happy. So this is why I say I really don't care about um, the bleed through. That doesn't phase me because look what I've done. I've got all this pretty color on here now. All right, so there's that and I'm gonna dry this and that will be it for this video.